Hey, what's up guys? It's Nels here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own personal streaming radio service in your web browser. The service that I'm going to be using is called cubic.fm. All you need to do to sign up is use your Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus account, but make sure to use the link in the article to sign up for Cubic FM, or else you'll have to wait in a waiting list to use the application. After you sign up, you'll be asked to download an extension for Chrome if you're on Chrome, which will help you add music to your Cubic FM account much easier, so do that if you're on Chrome. So this is what Cubic FM looks like. Here you'll have channels, which are essentially playlists, and then you'll also have recently saved music. Now let me show you guys how to save music to your account. So let's say I want to save a song from Spotify on here. I can go to Spotify and then find the URL for a specific song. So here I'm going to copy this. And if I go back to Cubic FM, I click on this plus sign and then I paste the URL here. And you can see that the song has been recognized. So all I have to do is tap on add and it'll be saved to recently saved. So if I go to recently saved, here you can see some of the music that I've saved. So you can do this for music from Spotify, from SoundCloud, YouTube, Pandora, and from over a thousand different music blogs. If you do have the Chrome extension, you can head over to someone like YouTube. And here in the top corner, you'll see an icon to save it to Cubic FM directly. And you'll also see a button here next to the subscribe button. So all you have to do is click on it and it'll save the song. Here I am in SoundCloud. Here you can see the Save to Cubic FM button. Same thing, just click on Save and it'll save it. And up here you'll see this and this will allow you to save the song to a different channel if you've created one in your account. Here's Pandora, here you can see the button. And finally I'll show you guys Hypem, which posts a lot of popular songs from blogs and here you'll see the icon on the side. And all you have to do is just click on it and it'll save it to your account. And from your channel, all you have to do is click on a song to play it. And here at the bottom, you'll be able to control the song, control the volume. And this is just a great way to keep all of your music in one place. That way you don't have to skip from SoundCloud to Spotify to YouTube to play all the songs that you want to listen to. And just like with any other service, you'll be able to go through the songs. And once it ends, it'll start over. So you can create multiple playlists for different moods, say it's working out. Uh, for work and all that. Alright, well that's it. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at Gadjax. Alright, thanks guys.